One of the least studied books in scripture for some of us is the Song of Songs, oftentimes referred to as the Song of Solomon. And yet it was considered by the ancient rabbis to be the holy of holies of what the church calls the Old Testament. The Song of Songs reveals something to us about God's nature in a way that no other book of the Bible does. It reveals to us God's intimate feelings towards his people, as well as revealing to us God's own emotions. I really encourage you, if you've not got my teaching on the Song of Songs, to go ahead and get my teachings on this unbelievable revelation. In the book of the Song of Songs, chapter 1, verse 4a, the Shulamite bride says, to, she's speaking to, to originally King Solomon, but it's actually a symbolic uh, love type between God and his people. And she's saying to the king, who is King Jesus in the prophetic sense of the word, she says, let us run the race together. She's asking Jesus to partner with her in life. She said, let us run the race together together. Draw me after you, she said, and let us run the race together. What she's doing there is she's stating her mission in life. Let me repeat it to you once again. Song of Songs, chapter one, the first part of verse four. She said to King Jesus, draw me after you. That's the first part. And let us run together. So her purpose was twofold. Number one, she wanted to know God. Draw me after you, she said to him. Jesus said, no one comes to me unless the Father draws him. So we need to be drawn to God. So she's saying, draw me after you. Draw me to yourself. I want to know you. That's her first mission. Then she says what the second part of her life's mission is. And let us run the race together. She wanted to partner with the king. She wants to partner with King Jesus in his purpose on the earth. So Jesus said, as the Father sent me, even so also now I send you. Jesus has sent us to partner with him to complete his work in the earth. We're now his body on the earth completing his mission. And so I just want to remind us today, sometimes we can get confused as to why we're here on planet earth. What's it really all about? And beloved, every single day we wake up in the morning, we can remind ourselves that we're here on this planet until our last breath for two reasons. Number one, to know God. Draw me after you. We wake up in the morning. We begin the morning by doing our devotional, looking to the Lord, opening our heart, asking if we dreamed anything last night, just drawing near to God to set the day to make him first. Secondly, she said, and let us run the race together. And what does that mean? That we're in the earth to partner with Jesus to complete his mission here, to be his witness, to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Don't ever forget it. Song of Songs, chapter one, verse four, that's our mission, to know God, to be drawn to him, to know him, and number two, to complete the work of King Jesus in the earth. Even if you're older right now and can't get out, you can still support ministries that can. Thank you, beloved, and God bless you.